Hello friends, welcome to the part 40 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. Please click the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. There are so many people who have cleared these certifications using the content on this channel. So please avail that. Let's jump into the questions. See, there are tons of emails and the company wants to go through those emails to understand if the sentiment is positive and negative. These are all customer service emails. So you want to just go through those emails and understand if the sentiment is positive or negative and what is the percentage of that. So how should you do that using which set of products? So first thing is we hear what are we trying to do? We are trying to comprehend. We are trying to comprehend if the sentiment is negative or positive. So common sense when we are trying to comprehend use Amazon comprehend. So it can derive valuable insights from text within the documents. What are the text emails? The documents are the emails and the emails have text. So this is how the flow is set up. The data comes into S3. Suppose the emails comes into S3. Comprehend would plug to S3, scan it through, put the data in Redshift for further analytics or machine learning programs and etc. to understand the sentiment is positive or negative. So this is our answer. But let us also look at other options. There is a service called Textract. If you have a printout and you want to understand what are the text, you can extract the text using Textract. Do we need this here? No, we are asking to understand the sentiments. This will not help you with that. Let us look at Translate. As the common sense says, it will help you with translate. It will do a fluent and accurate machine translation. And this is how it fits in. It can read from S3 or the text documents and this is translate and it can do document translation, custom translation, custom terminology, etc. Profanity masking. So this is not the service which will help you with understanding the sentiments. And let us look at recognition. If you have a CCTV footage and you want to analyze it, you can use recognition. It will automate your image and video analysis with machine learning. Use case, for example, you are a traffic police, there are CCTV cameras, you want to understand a hit and run case, you want to know the, uh, the number plate on the car. You can do that through recognition. So here in this case, it will not help you with sentiment analytics. So, so this would be my final answer. We will lock this. Now let us jump into the next question. You have EC2 instances and what operating system they are using? They are using Linux. How they have been launched? Using AMI. There are two ways to launch. Either you can install the operating system yourself or you can use AMI, whether you can use EC2 instance, install the Linux and etc. and other softwares and then create an AMI out of it. You can do it that way also. And using that AMI, you can launch other EC2 instances. There are two ways. Here, this guy is using the AMI way. Now, you want to connect to those EC2 instances. How can you connect? The first one says to use instance connect. You see this documentation using this, it is possible to connect. And you can connect to your Linux instances using SSH. So, we found our first answer. Now let us look at RDP connections. This is used for encrypted remote connection over HTTPS. You have a remote desktop gateway on AWS. You can use that. This will not help you with connecting to these EC2 instances. Then you have something called batch. The purpose is not to connect to EC2, but batch processing, machine learning model training, analysis at scale. So it's totally a different purpose. Then you have option D that is the systems manager. You see this documentation using this, you can connect to your EC2 instances. So this would be my answer. Last but not the least, we are looking at Amazon Connect. Connect will help you to connect with your service center contact centers. It will not help you to connect to your EC2 instances. This is primarily to use if you want to set up contact center automation. Suppose you are setting up your own call centers. You don't have to buy a building, put some people there. No, you can use this automation and do a lot of setup yourself. Nobody is asking you to set up the contact center here. So this is wrong. These two are our final answers. Why did we choose two answers? Because the question says choose two. Let us jump to the third one. See, you want to know when is the last time a specific user accessed the management console. That means this is a user activity. Whenever you think of user activity, think about a thumb rule. That is CloudTrail. It helps you track user activity and API usage. This is what will help you here. So CloudTrail is my answer. Now Cognito is a security solution. It is used for identity and access management similar to IAM. The question does not tell you to provide access or deny access. This is wrong. Inspector, it is just like a cop or a police. It will help you with vulnerability management. It will immediately scan and tell you unintended network exposure. Like in your apartment complex, which gates are open, which gates can be compromised and thieves can get in. Inspector will tell you that. What about guard duty? Intelligent threat detection, just like the guard at your apartment complex it they will immediately look at the person and they will try to use their intelligence and see that okay this guy seems suspicious same thing guard duty will do here nobody is talking about 
you know preventing access they are telling how you can know who has accessed for that you will have to use cloud trail cloud trail is similar to that register that you have in apartment complex after if a visitor comes in they sign that register cloud trail is that register friends if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button for your benefit you, it will help you with cloud certifications you can go through the comments of various videos in this playlist you will see a lot of people have cleared the certifications using this content you can also click the join button and become a member or you can use the link in the description these are all real certification questions please focus on the concepts to weed out the wrong ones and arrive at the right answer see you in the next part